All right, the moment's here, everybody. I've been so excited to show you guys this project we've been working on for the past few months. Uh, it's been quite a ride. All my buddies been helping me out put this together. Uh, here it is, the jungle. So I just wanted to take you guys to a little walkthrough of the jungle here. I've been building this out for quite a few months now, probably three, four months uh, that I've been just taking my time to build this out. Um, you know, I've been, uh, my original creation was the giant enclosure. Um, it was supposed to be one giant enclosure because I was only supposed to keep one chameleon. That's what my wife said. I was only allowed to keep one. I have a whole room in the back that's all aquariums. Um, but you know she was allowing me to keep one I was already pushing it with that and somehow I've ended up with 13 of these guys so I built this original enclosure with the hopes of keeping one panther chameleon a male uh, that I got from a, a neighbor across the street ended up becoming a really good friend of mine Tim um, he hooked me up with my first panther and uh, I put him in there and he loved it man this guy was enjoying this to the fullest but um, I ended up kind of thinking like I needed another one you know who doesn't need another one so what I did was uh, you know me and my buddy Mike we split this enclosure into two and uh, I got another uh, female at that point and she was a little smaller so you know honestly I, I kind of felt really bad that she was in this enclosure you know so I put her in one of these little repti breeze enclosures and the original guy I'll show you here in a second um, he went into a repti breeze because let's see if we can find him here this was the original back here he's an ambilobi So yeah, Tim hooked me up with him, and uh, I had him in there, but anyways, I quickly went from two to like five, and five to like eight, and now I'm at 13. So uh, yeah, crazy, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but I love them, so I had to get, you know, more. So we split this up right now, it's into one enclosure that Pasquale's in, I'll show you him back here, this is one branch that he chills on all the time. And uh, right now, this is Pasquale's little mansion on this side. <clears throat> I got to get it decked out with some more plants on the bottom um, and some other plants and branches mounted for him inside. Um, and then I'm going to start working on this side. Uh, many of you have asked me about some of the plants. I'm going to drop another video uh, where Rebecca and I go plant hunting. And uh, we're going to take you to several places, Home Depot, Lowe's, a bunch of nurseries around our area, just to kind of show you the variety that we can, you know, uh, get for our chameleons. And also what, what plants are safe for you and your chameleons. Um, it's kind of a pain sometimes to sit there and dig through all those forms or look up online and, you know, really get a justified answer. But I can tell you we have four to five plants that we've come uh, to a conclusion that work great for us and our chameleons and uh, we'll drop a video for that probably within the next week um, but yeah check this out guys this is the other big enclosure these plants are money trees you know those are awesome they have uh, great you know thick branches nice foliage coverage for the chameleons obviously to provide some shaded spots but you know give them the ability to climb all the way up to the top you know as you can see I've screwed in giant branches into the wood so that Pasquale can kind of bask and lay at certain different areas or heights in this enclosure. But yeah, check this out guys. It's a little back area. And as you can see here, I'm adding in a planter box uh, where I can fill that up with a bunch of plants or another giant money tree that I can go ahead and let some of my chameleons hang out in during the day. And then this is going to be, i got to add some of the other wood, uh, but we're going to finish it out with more walkway over this way so that you can completely walk all the way around um, and go from there. But yeah, guys, I'll walk you around for uh, some of the other enclosures as well, but uh, that's the giant enclosure.
we had one section that Pasquale now owns and then we had this section that at one point Diesel was in but he started beating up on Pasquale well not beating up but he was trying to show off and be alpha on the the screen on the side but now we got donated and we rehomed three awesome little red foots the three stooges <laughs> here's one of them right here got a fresh little lunch and then there's two more down here they're enjoying the warmth we got a little heat a ceramic heating bulb in there but as you'll see right here I started I gotta move the electric that was just temporary for the last few nights it's been getting down to uh, like in the 50s but tonight tomorrow and the next day are gonna get down to like 45 42 so we'll go ahead and we'll bring the tortoises in we're gonna prepare to wrap everybody up I'll go ahead and drop another video on how I keep all of the chameleons warm at night and how we wrap everybody up and prepare for some of these cold nights in Florida I've had a lot of questions, a lot of PMs and DMs on Instagram and Facebook on how Rebecca and I keep everybody warm at night um, with all the enclosures being outside. Uh, we've come up with a little method that seems to work pretty good. So um, check out that video as well. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start working on this. And uh, we'll break this up into another big badass enclosure for uh, uh, Diesel. Check this out, guys. We got the new enclosure all set up. This is it. This is for Diesel right here. Still got to fine tune everything. Check this out. We ended up, uh, we glued all the branches. There's Diesel up top there. He's already enjoying it. Threw a money tree in here. A few Chefalera. Great for foliage. Bunch of badass branches that I've, uh, that I've accumulated. We mounted a bunch that are screwed to the wood. This one right here, I hot glued in, screwed in, so that it was mounted really nice and firm. And then I, uh, I went ahead and hot glued, which I'd recommend to anybody. Honestly, it's super easy. Everything is really like tight and firm. Check him out, cruising on the branches. So this was uh, just a little addition. Obviously, we have Pasquale over here in his uh, big badass mansion. And then I did this little addition here. We had another little mini uh, female <clears throat> panther that was in a smaller enclosure and I really wanted to upgrade her into one of the larger enclosures. So I kind of broke this one up here, which I think honestly I might end up doing to the other side because the tortoises are still underneath. I gotta fix them and make another, another hide box. It's a little messy right now because I've been in here all day, but check it out. This is the back side. We obviously have the two Miss King nozzles hooked up, ran through. The other enclosures that are all set up and running. It's a little messy back here because last night it was like 40 degrees or 42 degrees. So we've been prepping everybody, <clears throat> trying to keep everything uh, nice and warm for them. Check this out, my little jungle, guys. Welcome to the jungle. Just planted in here a little papaya tree, another money tree to grow, big money tree that we've had, a little banana tree, some cactus that we have going in here. I want to try and, obviously, my, my goal is to try and grow as many of the plants that I can here to sustain all the animals the tortoises the roaches that I have you know everything like that they they feed off a lot of uh, the bananas and the cactus and stuff like that so that's my main goal instead of having to buy it from the store I know it's natural here I'm not putting any pesticides I'm taking care of everything so that's my uh, my ultimate goal is to try and take care of uh, all the animals to the best of our ability. Hey, you know, we love our animals. They gotta eat good too. Love how this setup came out. This is incredible. So, like always guys, 
We truly appreciate you guys watching our videos and we appreciate you guys enjoying our content. If you uh, want to see some more, go ahead and follow us, drop a like and a subscribe to see more from the jungle.